AFS Connect platform has a wealth of value among its digital features, fast becoming a key player in any farmer's precision ag strategy, and not just for CNH industrial customers. <music> Since the acquisition of AgDNA, KSH and its open and connected approach have come along leaps and bounds to support farmers on their search to do more with less. Let's take a high level look of the AFS Connect features before diving deep into the details later on in the series. Check it out. AFS Connect Farm is where the majority of the value can be found in the AFS Connect platform and it's where you'll be spending the majority of your time when using the system. So Farm came from the acquisition of AgDNA and it will soon become the master location for the entire portal going forward. So get familiar with the user interface. Farm provides all the agronomic data insights and now a large majority of the fleet data as well. The fleet section was the original data area for AFS Connect. Today, it homes the majority of the parameters for fleet management. So things like fuel data, things like hours, location, vehicle utilization, all these key parameters based around the engine and transmission. Now going forward, I believe KSH will migrate the majority of these key features into the AFS Connect farm area. So my advice is to get more familiar with the AFS Connect farm area, less so the fleet. Lastly is the data section. Now the data section is quite a small area and this is where KSAH home their plugins and their data initiatives to allow you guys to connect your different software platforms together. For example, if you're using Trimble, or perhaps you are using a John Deere mixed fleet and you want to leverage the Data Connect initiative. Well, data area is where you facilitate these connections. And again, going forward, I believe that all these features will be migrated into that central location of AFS Connect Farm. Hey gang, welcome to NerdCam. This is what I'm going to use to go through a very quick demonstration of the different sections of AFS Connect. So I'm gonna make my head smaller, don't worry. What you can first see here is the AFS Connect fleet dashboard. Now this is where you'll go through my case AH, the my account area, and you'll click on AFS Connect and this will be your landing page. So this is giving you a glance of your fleet overview and all the key parameters that you'd expect to see when wanting some quick information. Right here, we've got the vehicle type. So we've got Case H Magnum, and then we've also got the vehicle nickname. If you've chosen to give it a nickname, which you can do in the Case H platform. The alerts, status, is it in work? Is it out of work, idle, key on, those kinds of utilization statuses the current engine hours and custom one and custom two columns. These are completely, as you would assume, customizable. So if we click on this little gear here, you can begin to customize the columns based on the machine that you are using. Uh, so for example, if I want a tractor, I want to see, in this case, I want to see how much area I've worked when I have my tractor showing in this dashboard here. So. You would see for any tractors that can be customized to show area. Same deal with custom two. So this is the list view. You've then got load more vehicles down here, which saves us on loading uh, initial loading time. And then if we come to the map here, we can see a map view of our fleet. So giving you the full holistic view of what all your machines are up to and we can zoom in. We can see they're grouped together with these numbers here. For example, if I want to know a bit more information about a particular machine, so we can see this one's working away. We've got a Case H Road Track 500, which is currently in idle. Its fuel level is 93.2%. It's currently not moving. Engine hours 2,333. If this was a Case H AFS Connect next generation vehicle, 
we'd be able to initiate an AFS remote display session with that machine, which would be pretty cool. And we can see the live machine display here. So we've then got alerts. And alerts are, as you'd expect, the alerts generated from onboard the machine, giving us a quick summary of what's happening. So we've got the status, severity, the ID, which is what your dealership would use to identify uh, diagnostic procedures, as well as the source and the date that it occurred. So then jumping into notifications. So with notifications, it allows you to create your own custom notifications based on a particular parameter. So let's say you wanted to generate a notification when your fuel level for your entire fleet um, or for each vehicle was below, let's say 10%. Well, you could create that customization here, or perhaps your slip percentage is a little higher than you want your operator to be operating the machine at. You can create a customization for that as well. These are, at the moment, web-based notifications only. There's no way to send it to a mobile phone, so it would appear only in the mobile app or on the desktop web interface like I'm showing you here. Then there's reports. Now, reports are really for large customers that are using their own, let's say, logistic software to manage their fleet. Um, and perhaps they have their own maintenance schedule tracking. So reports allow you to generate all the captured data from your entire fleet year by year and export it as a CSV file to import into another software. It has a very particular use. You can, if you know your way around Excel, you can turn this into some amazing data-driven decision-making reports if you so choose. This is something that we see a lot with sugarcane customers. So that is AFS Connect at a quick glance. Let's jump on over to the AFS Connect data side, which we can navigate to from this page here. So if we click on this, what we call a hamburger menu, we click here, and then we've got this data section. So let's give that a click. So, welcome to the AFS Connect data section. As I said, it's quite a small area, however, it is very powerful. To my left, we have the mixed fleet integrations. Now, this is where, if you had a mixed fleet, such as running Case H together with a John Deere harvester or class harvester, and you wanted to visualize all your machines in one singular portal, this is where this data connect initiative comes in, and you can connect your AFS Connect platform to John Deere's Operation Center JD Link uh, platform. So obviously you have to have a subscription for your John Deere as well and your class machines as well if you want to plug in their data into AFS Connect. Then if we're going down, we've got the agronomic data sharing applications. So this is where KSH has partnered with a bunch of the industry popular softwares to allow you guys to cross share data between platforms such as Farmer's Edge, Trimble, Cropwise and CropScan as I'm showing here. There are more but it's very much dependent on the market and region that you are in. In this case you'd be able to connect your other applications so let's say we're also using uh, Trimble's uh, farm connected farm services we could connect Trimble in here and plug in and share data between those two platforms which makes this whole ag tech data much easier to manage going forward. And this list is consistently growing, which is KSH's proactive approach to keeping everything open and connected. Now let's hop on over to the AFS Connect farm area, which is where you guys will be spending the majority of your time. Again, that hamburger menu, and then clicking on farm. Welcome to farm, everyone. So here is where you'll be spending the majority of your time. We now have some fleet integration into here, which didn't exist at the, the start of the AgDNA acquisition. But now we've got a lot of the fleet parameters and fleet features trickling into AFS Connect Farm, all lining up to be sort of the master area going forward. Chuck me over here, and then let's go through a bit of an overview of what we're looking at here. Down the left hand side we've got obviously the farm area, this is where we're in now. We've got fleet link, that will take us back to the AFS Connect fleet so you can duck and dive between the two. You then got reporting and this is a very powerful tool that um, has been built into AFS Connect farm and allows you to generate reports on nearly everything that we can see 
in this portal. So then we have the missing layer section. Now this is really to do with how AFS Connect Farm works. And what I mean by that is that every data point that is coming into AFS Connect Farm is sorted by geolocation. If there is a boundary already around that data, then no matter what other field names or uh, vehicle names have been tagged to that piece of data, it gets put into the master boundary location, which is the boundary that's in your portal, the one that you've assigned as the main boundary for that field. Now, if it doesn't have a boundary, if say a um, operator has gone to a new field that doesn't have a bounded location, then it gets put into this missing layers folder. So instead of getting jumbled up with everything else, it gets put into a separate folder then you guys can go in and either create a new boundary or perhaps it's just an anomaly and you can delete it. The idea is that it makes your life a lot easier. Then going along the top, we have the standard grower, farm, enterprise year and field. So this is just standard, I guess, precision farming data management uh, hierarchy. And we've also got this account, select account section. So this is for uh, managing multiple accounts assigned to one user. For example, an agronomist may want to access certain customers' data and those customers can share their accounts with him or them and allow them to access their data and use their data as they need to. So here is where that agronomist would go in and select the particular account that they want to observe the data on. Okay, so now going across this other nav bar here, we can see the map, but this is currently the section that we're on. If we click on charts, this will basically take you into a section whereby it shows you all the key parameters for the grower field farm location that you have selected. So in this case, I have the entire farm selected, so it's giving me all the information for that entire farm in like a snapshot glance. The next section here is, or the next two sections I should say, are to do with activity. So we've got an activity history and an activity calendar. So the history allows you, if we were to click in here, the history shows you all the tasks that have been completed by your connected machines, or perhaps anything that you've loaded in the USB so any tasks that have been completed and you can see what kind of task it was if it was planting if it was application harvest all the details with that particular task as well as the data layer itself and then you can sort of jump into this task further you can see the time taken you can see further details about that task and even financial analysis if you've entered those financials in Looking at activity calendar, you can see here, this is basically putting that same activity but in a calendar view. But this also allows you to plan activity. So if you want to organize your weeks, your months going forward, you can start to add different custom tasks here or harvesting tasks or planting tasks and sort of start to organize your fleet and your operators then we have weather data, so this will give us a weather overview of our location um, and that kind of does a playthrough of one hour or 24 hours as well as weather data, uh, what weather and rainfall that we've had historically. We've then got this layers button here and if we click here this just gives us our different, um, I guess, information layers and labels for what we want to see on this platform here. So for example, I can go to equipment, I can say show all equipment, which will then take me into my next section, which I wanna talk about, which is the fleet section. So equipment mode, if we click on equipment mode, this is basically the start of the migration from AFS Connect fleet into AFS Connect farm. And we can start to see key parameters here. Again, very similar to what we spoke about in AFS Connect fleet. You've got vehicles here. You can see the integration of John Deere machines, which is pretty cool. So yeah, looking at those key parameters, which we'll dive into in later series, lots of new features coming in with equipment mode, such as the geofencing curfews and breadcrumbing as well, so you can see where your operators have driven, at what time and when, giving you just that extra bit of control when it comes to your your, 
your fleet management. Then, to finish off, we've got this section here. Okay, this is our export button, which enables us to either export manually to a USB or directly over the air to our machine. So if we have any guidance lines or boundaries, even perhaps a prescription map that we've generated and we want to send that to the machine, we can using this export button. Then we've got the setup, which is essentially all the resources that we have added onto our digital farm. So these are all our digital resources. And you can see here, grower farm fields, you've got all your products, resources, even zones per field, different management zones, our rules of geofencing and curfews, and then any templates we have for activities and harvest tracking. So jumping out of there, we've got our plus button. This is essentially adding resources. So this is where we add anything, uh, any digital resources that we want to add is all found in this plus button, as well as uploading data, which is a pretty cool one because that allows us to import data from third party equipment and other manufacturers such as you can see here John Deere and Trimble um, highlighting those here. So that's about it for the overview of AFS Connect Farm. As I said there is a huge amount more to learn about AFS Connect Farm. It is a very powerful tool. This was just a quick overview to show you guys what you're going to get if you sign up to an AFS Connect subscription. So this is all included in that subscription. Hope this was helpful guys. If you want to learn more, stay tuned for our next videos or head over to our channel to watch the AFS Connect Farm Breakdown.